All right, so uh, we're on a little bit of an adventure today. Uh, I'm going to stop by a few places to see if I can pick up some parts. Some of them may be Vanagon, some of them may not. Uh, we're just going to find out when we get there. Man, I like a good photo opportunity. Uh, wonderful old tanks, uh, I guess retired, I'm sure hoping. Uh, this is on the uh, grounds of a uh, American Legion post, you know, support uh, our veterans. Uh, they've s sacrificed a, a lot for us, you know? So I'm glad they have these things out here so we can uh, appreciate the size and uh, all that they've been able to do for us, for our freedoms. All right, we've reached the uh, first goal, first objective, first stop. It's a pull apart. Uh, lucky enough to have one of these in my town. While they never have any Vanagons, they have plenty of Volkswagens, Audis, Mercedes, and the occasional BMW. Uh, well, we got lots of BMWs, but only the occasional one that we're interested in. All right, this is what we're here to see. Nope. That's what's listed on the website, but that is not the correct year. I think they have that listed wrong. I was looking for the E30 chassis, so... We'll just go ahead and walk around the rest of the yard, uh, see if there's any other interesting Mercedes, Audis, or Volkswagens, and we'll see what they have to offer for uh, wheels. So if you were looking to uh, get one of those parcel trays that fits between the seats from an Odyssey, it's, uh, I believe, the second generation. That's what I got mine from. There's one still in this one. Quite a few of the Odysseys in the pull apart right there works pretty good real cheap nice addition to a tin top not so sure they work so well in a westy because of the swiveling seat though okay all right well i did get a tip about something really good it's supposed to be a good restaurant out this way this works out well and that must be the restaurant Archer's Barbecue smells really good So what did we learn today? Well, uh, didn't find what we were looking for. Uh, looks like we might've found a good restaurant. Let's go ahead and sit down and enjoy that. Right, let's check out what we have for lunch. I know that seems kind of lame. Uh, they said this restaurant was good. Uh, got pork barbecue, of course, a side of slaw, and I'm sure some delicious beans. And because I'm in the South, I do have iced tea and I am certain it is super sweet. So, uh, we're going to sit back and enjoy that. Someday I'm going to find out who owns that uh, van again, and I'm going to buy it. stop here uh, it's in a residential area at someone's house so. yeah. so these uh, neighborhood 
roads are pretty nice. If you don't mind all the other cars. All right, so we're over here at the getting the secret stash of Volkswagen parts. We got a what, seventy-eight Bay Wind window? Uh, yeah, seventy-eight. All right. It's actually a nineteen. Yeah, it's nineteen fifty-nine Mercury outboard. But what we're here for are Vanagon parts. There's a uh, two case halves for MV two point one. We got. Some leftover heads. We got one crankshaft. There might be another one here. Cooling hoses for a uh, 1.9. All sorts of stuff. Well, we're going to be adding that to our pile. And, you know, that's just what we need is more stuff in our pile. And for you diesel fanatics there, there's a ETDI motor. He also has all the wiring loom for that. So another project for another day. All right, so I got all the boxes loaded up. This is uh, what amounts to one complete 2.1 MV motor engine and a uh, whole bunch more spare parts. So, you know, what we're going to do to that, I'm not real sure. Better than them going to the scrapyard, though. All right, well, that's pretty much a wrap on uh, today's activities. Uh, we didn't meet all the objectives. It was a beautiful day here. Uh, had some cloud cover, a little bit of rain, but it's that important now. Anyway, uh, out at the pull apart where I thought there was gonna be an E30 BMW. Uh, maybe I didn't do my research right. Uh, Anyway, brake boosters off of those are good to put on Vanigans. Uh, that's what I'm interested in. Uh, walk the whole yard of the uh, pull apart. I like doing that. I set my, uh, you know, Strava. If you know what Strava is for cycling, running, hiking. Uh, anyway, if you walk every row, it's uh, pretty close to a mile. So I got that in. Um, found that great res re restaurant to eat at. Uh, drove some pretty nice roads, uh, went over to uh, an acquaintance's house, went into his garage. Uh, we saw that uh, nice uh, 78 Bay Window bus, it's a Champagne edition. Uh, he's planning on putting a TDI motor into it, still not sure if he's going to complete that, but he's going to try. Um, picked up a bunch of water boxer parts, uh, he started with two 2.1 MVs and uh, he built one good one so I wound up with the parts that weren't good enough now what am I gonna do with that I don't know uh, I could build one one up but uh, you know to build a water boxer these days uh, it's a good uh, two to four thousand dollar investment yeah. could be worth it but Engine conversions, you know, they cost a lot too. Uh, you know, what you can rebuild, I don't know. It's just boggling. It's just boggling. Anyway, so that's brings us to where we're at. We got all that done. Uh, had a great lunch. Drove some beautiful roads. Uh, got a crankshaft from a 2.1. That's pretty much what you need to build anything bigger than a 2.1. Uh, anyway, uh, I think that's about it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, you know, I don't know. I'm not a not one of those people that begs and pleads for likes and subscribes. But, you know, hey, if you do, that means you might see me do something else. And sometimes I might do something stupid. That could happen. Happened before. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. Uh, hope you get out and enjoy do, doing what you like to do. See ya.